All right, so in this one, I'm gonna keep adding these colors to my tree, um, these leaves. I've already done my underpainting. I already put in these patches of blue for um, my sky, because that's the furthest thing away from me. So I needed to get that in first. And then I already kind of put down chunks of this orangey yellow color. And now I'm kind of going back and maybe adding more because now it's a different day. And um, so now I'm kind of like putting more on there to get different colors to like pop out a little bit. Um, and again, this is tricky because you have to kind of work slowly work. So I had already put down red here and now I need to build some of this orangey color on top of it. Um, and it's okay if you still see some of it underneath because you do in your picture, you know, that's okay if you do. Um, but then it's finding the right orange, getting the right mixture of these yellows and oranges together. And maybe that orange that I'm putting down right now isn't as bright as it needs to be. <laughs> there might need to be more yellow. So then I'm going to have to get a different brush that maybe has just more yellow on it. But the thing is, is that I might have to like wait for that previous color to dry before I can put something else on top of it. So I'm kind of just loosely following these shapes that are here. And so now I need to bring in more red, I feel like. Just strictly red. See how I'm kind of moving my brush. And I'm using um, bright red. You might have primary red. It just kind of depends. I hope hopefully it's not a red that has too much pink in it. You don't want that because that too much pink can change things. Um, because then it kind of maybe has a little bit of like blue undertone in it. You don't really want that red. So I have a bright red. I mean, you could have a primary red. It depends on what you found at the store, if you bought something at the store. So see, I'm kind of putting in these marks of just, I don't know, there's like little side marks. I don't know how to call it. So I'm not going to go too far over because then this tree is more like green and blue. So that's just kind of like my red area. And I could have probably put a little bit of burnt sienna mixed in with that to darken it a little bit, but it's okay. Because that burnt sienna is already underneath it. So that's kind of helping darken it. And I'm not making like a big block of color. I'm leaving the blue that I had already put down. I'm leaving some parts of my canvas there. You know, it's okay because I'm gonna be putting in other colors, hopefully. And let me come down here, start sprinkling this in. Again, I'm loosely following shape of what it's doing and hopefully I was doing that when I did my my underpainting so then hopefully it's just as easy to do it now okay so that needs to dry a little bit before I put down my um, orange on top of it. And now I feel like I need to bring some red and burnt sienna over here a little bit more. 
put more on this of what I was doing on Friday. So what I'm doing now is I'm coming in with just strictly yellow and you can maybe put a little bit of white in. It just kind of depends on where you're at with your colors and what you think. I'm kind of just popping in this yellow to make stuff appear better. So I started with my reds and I did my oranges. Now I'm coming in with my yellow. So if you're doing this painting, your treats are probably going to be way more colorful than they are in this picture and that's okay really any painting you're do you're gonna do they're probably gonna end up to be more colorful and vibrant than what it is in the picture and that's okay i'm just trying to get some yellow here to make it brighter and I'll probably come back again later on to get it to pop even more. But you have to let it kind of dry. And maybe I would even come in later on to bring in, um, maybe mix with a little bit of white. And that makes it even more like opaque. So I'm just kind of doing just like little little dabs this is going to be more orange down here further down so i'm not really there yet but okay how about how about we try this green area down here that's going to be a bit different to clean out my brushes i'm going to pause all right so i already Kind of started down here and i started with that darker value there at the bottom which is going to be that i used like um phthalo green and bright red for that really dark value because you have to put the dark down first before you can put down the lighter value and it doesn't have to be a big block of color see how i put some in and then it kind of dried and I could still see some of that burnt sienna through it. So then I had to come back with another um, layer. And now I need like a lighter green 
or medium green again for like that local color. So I'm kind of using, what am I using? Phthalo green and some yellow mixed in. Maybe I need some cobalt blue mixed in to kind of bring in more blue values. And so, I, you know, as I'm painting, I'm trying to get this like texture of this bush. It's kind of growing into this tree. Um, I'm going to move away from that for a second and then I'm going to found this color that I want to kind of put throughout here. So again, it's like I found this local color, this main color for this area. And I'm kind of putting it in. I'll be honest, I kind of messed up there for a second. I kind of, um, a little too happy with it and kind of got where I needed to put some yellow. So that might be annoying to try to get bring back my yellow. But if I can't get it right now, I'll be able to get it later on when it's dried and kind of go over and go over and go over. No worries. So I'm just kind of like putting in local colors of this yellow and this green. Just kind of spattering it on there. I'm trying to capture this kind of messy texture. So really there's more orange that needs to come down in there. So I can't really cover that up yet. There needs to be more orange. Really, I don't have this background in yet. What's happening behind that tree there? So I need to get that in because then parts of my green and yellow going to go on top of it. I'll be honest, I don't even know where my light pole is anymore. <laughs> I mean, I know where it is, but I don't. It's, mm, it's kind of lost. That's okay. No worries. Now I'm going to put some stuff over it. Right now I'm just kind of blocking in these shapes of these two main colors, just kind of 
loosely blocking them in. Oops, I don't know if you can see the picture now. You know what I need? I need more of this color again. This dark blue. See how it's harder to work backwards. So I'm just gonna like adding this little bit. I could have kept it like that light blue sky, but I don't know why I'm kind of going back. So I added some white, just a little bit of white to that cobalt blue to make this light, weird blue color kind of pop out down here at the bottom. So I'm making some stuff darker. And then there's this color that's down here. It's kind of popping and separating. I don't know if you can see it very well. So my green, and what happens if I put white in it? So I'm kind of maybe ready for a little bit of white to make this stand out. Some more of that texture of this area down here because it lightens up that green just a little bit and so I built up that local color or the medium green area for a little bit and then when I'm ready then I need to like add the highlights 
for the lighter values. Oh no, I put my whole brush in white. I didn't want that. And so then I was ready to lighten it up. And now that's what I've done with my my yellow here. I've added a little bit of white to it. I see you don't want to go overboard though. You can't go overboard with white because it's actually really, really strong. And so you still do need that That like yellow, pure yellow color, but sometimes you need it to be lightened just a little bit. Oh man. Now my paint dried up. What am I doing? Yellow. So I'm like keeping building up, and so maybe this time I added a little bit more blue. That combination. Until it gets more blue in it. Maybe now I'll add a little bit more yellow. It just kind of depends on what you need. So it's still coming back and I like need some layers to fill in still. I'm not like done. And I added even more white into that. And maybe it's brighter than my painting. I don't know. I mean, that's okay. I mean, I kind of like to make there to be even more values and more things happening than there is essentially in actual painting, like more values, more colors. Because if there is, then it's less of a chance for the painting to look flat. We don't want flat colors, we want like a variety in our colors. We want a lot of different values because then that helps show depth. It shows texture. And sometimes I get tired of an area. I'll be honest. I'm tired of that. I need to wait. I was getting frustrated, so I need to like let that area sit for a while because you just sometimes you just need to move around and take a break. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back with just simply pure yellow. Can you see? I don't know. And what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of like softly 
tapping in more of these places. I might not have some yellow on a brush and I need to make I need to make orange for down here in this area. I'll be honest, I should have put the orange in first before I put the green in, but it's okay. We left some spaces on purpose because I knew I had messed up. We can filter that in a little bit. Maybe it's not as big or the same shape, but that's okay. It's there now. 